Have you ever found yourself halfway through a jigsaw puzzle and thought, wow, I really wish I had a magical guide to help me out with this one? If so, today's your lucky day because we're going to discuss how to use the poster. Hey puzzle lovers, welcome back to my channel. New temporary backdrop because I'm moving, but same great channel. Today we're gonna be tackling Candy Chrome, which is the fourth puzzle in the Josie Lewis series by Buffalo. Just like the other ones, it's super rainbow and it has 500 pieces. I'm gonna be doing all six puzzles in the set on my channel. If you missed the first three, be sure to check it out up here or at my channel when we're done. And today we're gonna be talking about puzzle posters. You know, that little piece of paper that comes in the box that has the picture on it. Not all puzzles come with them, but some do, and this one did. Sometimes it's like finding gold, and other times the poster just sits there. In this video, we'll crack open the box on this beauty, and I'll put it together piece by piece, time-lapse style. Stick around to the end to find out how I use the poster on this puzzle to help me get through it. And if you're all about bringing these colors to life, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're not part of the family yet. Ready to jump into this color explosion? Let's get to it. And just like that, Candy Chrome joins our growing list of completed Josie Lewis rainbow puzzles. And what was different about this one is I felt like it used the poster just the right amount to get it done. Now, not every puzzle comes with a poster. And even when one does, I don't always use it. A lot of times this little piece of paper just sits there on my cute little poster table, all without getting touched at all. For example, if a puzzle is mostly the same color, it doesn't really make sense. I don't need a piece of paper to tell me, oh, well that whole half is blue, the piece goes somewhere over there, good luck. Also, when the picture is really kind of easy, I won't touch the poster either. If I'm doing a gradient puzzle where it goes from one shade to another, I pretty much let the puzzle tell me what color I'm looking for next. However, sometimes you get the reverse problem where the puzzle is so intricate and I just get bogged down staring at that little piece of paper, trying to figure out where every piece goes. And I just feel like I can't even put a single piece in without consulting my handy dandy map, as I call it. Now, if you really wanna see me suffer, go check out this Mickey Mouse puzzle I did where I was just squinting at that little piece of paper for way more time than I was ever looking at the puzzle pieces. Ick. 
But with Candy Chrome, we hit the sweet spot. The poster helped out here and there. I was able to use my two poster solving strategies, but I was also able to get some pieces on my own without having to rely on the piece of paper. So what are my two puzzle solving poster strategies? Well, the first one starts with the piece first. The next one starts with the puzzle first. So in the piece puzzle solving strategy, I pick up a piece that caught my eye and then consult the poster and try and find it on the poster. Once I find it on the poster using either like the special color or the curves that I'm noticing in the piece, I know where that piece goes in the puzzle and I put it where it goes, even if it can't connect to anything. I'll just leave it floating in space in the middle. Now, the second strategy is kind of the reverse approach. Usually maybe I'll be doing a section of the puzzle down here and I'll get to the next piece and I'll consult the poster so I could figure out, well, what to expect in the piece that I'm looking for. Then I can go over to my pile of pieces knowing it's gonna be a mostly pink one with a blob of green or a piece that has a line between two colors and I can find that piece in my puzzle pile. Using the poster in these two ways makes it kind of a more strategic approach to solving the puzzle, but at least with Candy Chrome, I still got like that fun of just carefree throwing down a piece because I thought it fit nicely. Good balance. So what about you? Do you find posters helpful or do you leave them to waste away on the side? Cool little helper or just a piece of paper? Or can you not even move without consulting them? Drop your puzzle adventures down in the comments. I'd love to know how you tackle puzzles. And hey, we've still got two more puzzles to go in the series. And when I've got them all finished, I'll be ranking them head to head on which ones took me the longest to do. So be sure to have your notifications turned on and be subscribed to the channel so you don't miss them. And I hope to see you at my next video. Bye.